Hello, and welcome to the new six-part Iceberg Explained video. I'm British art rock, chamber pop, post-punk, whatever you want to call it band, Black Country New Road, or BCNR for short. If you're watching this, you probably know what an iceberg is, but just as a short rundown, the deeper it gets, the more obscure the information gets, blah blah blah. I'll be using a combination of this iceberg by Reddit user Dr. Felix PhD and a lot of my own editions, because one, it is a little outdated, being from about a year ago. And two, I found there just to be a lot of really interesting information about BCNR that I'd like to share. Just as a side note, I will largely be referring to the band as BCNR, as it's just more convenient to say than Black Country New Road. So get your Nutribullet, your prom crowns, and your sunglasses, and let's dive into the BCNR iceberg. And so so from up there. Released on February 4th, 2022, Ants From Up There is BCNR's most critically and commercially successful studio album. The album has a critic score of 92 on Metacritic, a 4.02 on Rate Your Music, a 9 from the Melon himself, and other very high ratings from other websites that don't really matter. The album even had some commercial success, reaching number 3 on the UK Albums chart when it was first released. Even if you're not super familiar with the band, you've likely seen this album pop up on Album of the Year lists, or even favorite albums of all time lists. And if you are very familiar with BCNR, you've most likely broken down crying to this album more than a few times. For the first time. For the first time, unsurprisingly, is BCNR's debut album, released almost exactly a year before Ants From Up There on February 5th, 2021. The band had garnered a passionate cult following just from their first few singles and some exhilarating live performances, and combined with growing musical interest in the so-called windmill scene in London, meant that For the First Time was one of the most hyped albums to be released in recent memory. The album featured re-recorded versions of early singles like Athens, France and Sunglasses, and was received with a very positive critical reception. Isaac left four days before Ants From Up There came out. On January 31st, 2022, just four days before Ants From Up There was released, lead singer, guitarist, and lyricist Isaac Wood announced on all of the band's social media pages that he would be leaving the band. He cited mental health struggles and his inability to perform on stage without feeling sad and afraid. The band released a statement that said they would all continue to perform as BCNR, but had to cancel upcoming shows, including their US tour. Seven members. This just refers to the fact that before Isaac left the group, the band had a total of seven members. Georgia Ellery on violin, Tyler Hyde on bass, Lewis Evans on sax, Mae Kershaw on keys, Luke Mark on guitar, Charlie Wayne on drums, and Isaac Wood on vocals and guitar. This helped contribute to their unique sound, which took from a variety of musical palettes, including klezmer, post-rock, impressionism, minimalism, and other genres as well. Lewis says that there was never any intention to form a seven-piece group, but they were all just friends who decided to form a band. I will also be referring to the band members by their first names from this point, because it just sounds more natural. I told you I loved you in front of Black Midi. Basketball Shoes is slash was about a wet dream. Basketball Shoes is, in my opinion, the perfect encapsulation of BCNR in one song multi-part epic with more musical peaks and troughs than any post-rock piece, Basketball Shoes is one of the greatest endings to any album I've ever heard, with its poignant and bittersweet lyrics perfectly summing up the themes of Ants From Up There. However, the song, at least in its lyrics, started out very, very differently. Basketball Shoes existed long before the release of Ants From Up There and served as a blueprint for the album. In its earliest version, the song was about a wet dream Isaac had about pop singer Charlie XCX. Some would argue that even with multiple lyric changes, the core of the lyrics still remained the same. Lines like, and, are pretty incriminating and are quite creepy. Interestingly, the lyrics during the big climax of the song were not entirely changed, with the line
remaining on the album. Speedy Wonderground Singles Speedy Wonderground is an underground indie label formed in 2013 by Dan Carey and released BCNR's first two singles in 2019, Athens, France, and Sunglasses. The single versions of these two songs became popular within the indie scene and made BCNR one of the most hyped bands in the indie sphere. If you're only familiar with the album versions of these two songs, the single versions are much more vulgar and in many ways more unhinged and anxiety-inducing, with both songs featuring uncomfortable sexual references and even more manic vocal delivery from Isaac. The hype and incredible quality of these two singles even earned them the title of The Best Band in the World by the quietest writer, John Doran. These two singles were eventually re-recorded and saw significant lyric changes when they appeared on For the First Time. Track X, The Guest The guest version of Track X is a fully acoustic version of the song Track X, which appeared on For the First Time. It doesn't feature any of the minimalist elements of the album version and only relies on Isaac's voice and his guitar. The only lyric change is in the chorus, where Isaac laments, Black Midi New Road Black Midi New Road is a supergroup made up of the members of BCNR and prog, jazz, noise rock band Black Midi. Both bands came up in London in the venue The Windmill at around the same time and are generally quite close together. During December 2020, Black Midi New Road did a fundraising live stream for The Windmill, which was struggling to combat the impacts of COVID. The first half of the performance features a bunch of improv, along with an early version of the track Snow Globes, which would later appear on Ants From Up There. This version features simplified lyrics, a gorgeous slide guitar solo from Black Midi guitarist Jordy Greep, and angelic background vocals from Georgia. This version is often regarded as the best version of Snow Globes, but in my opinion, the true peak of the live stream came in the second half which still remains one of my favorite performances of all time. Seven covers, including Christmas classics, Springsteen, and CeeLo Green, of all people, featuring five different vocalists, are performed with a joy and vibrancy that I can rarely find anywhere else. Please just check it out to hear that cover of Forget You by Georgia. It might be the best cover of all time. Jockstrap BCNR's violinist Georgia Ellery is in another music group called Jockstrap, a duo where she, along with collaborator Taylor Sky, makes arty, glitchy pop music. They've released two EPs, one of which, Wicked City, is amazing, and a full-length album in 2022 called I Love You, Jennifer B., which is also amazing. Jockstrap do surprisingly have a lot of connections with BCNR beyond just the fact that Georgia is in both of them. Pianist Mae Kershaw played on Yellow and Green on Wicked City, while guitarist Luke Mark played on several of the tracks on I Love You, Jennifer V. Perhaps more interesting is that Lewis appears in several of Jockstrap's early music videos, where he looks extremely awkward and out of place. As Jockstrap have gained popularity, and especially after the release and positive reception of I Love You, Jennifer B., Georgia only plays about half the live shows with the band, and rarely sings on BCNR songs as they would not be able to play them live. This has since changed with the introduction of Georgia's song Horses, which they introduced during their recent Japan tour. The Windmill The Windmill is a small music venue in the Brixton area of London, where BCNR first began playing shows. The Windmill is also kind of the birthplace of a lot of other angular and experimental rock music, being home to bands like Black Midi, Shame, Dry Cleaning, Squid, and other bands that have insufferable fan bases. This centralization of a bunch of hype punk-adjacent bands has been dubbed the Windmill scene, Although as the different bands have grown and moved on, the term has become less and less applicable as the sound has moved beyond those original post-punk roots. Nervous Conditions Nervous Conditions is a band formed in Cambridge in 2015 or 2016, which featured six of the seven members of Black Country New Road, along with second drummer Johnny Pike and lead singer Connor Brown. The band disbanded after sexual assault allegations emerged against Brown in 2018, leading to the break of the band and the subsequent formation of BCNR. The band never released a studio album, but they did release an untitled live album in 2018. I hate it. I mean, I enjoy the band's instrumentals quite a bit, but it's then ruined by Brown snarling all over the microphone, and it makes me quite happy that they reformed and that Isaac took over vocal duties. It's like if Marky Smith was more growly and more of an absolute scumbag. 
Second best blank tribute act. This is a reference to the line in the song Science Fair, where Isaac anxiously mumbles. I used to think I could have left the fair with my dignity intact and fled from the stage with the world's second best slim tribute act. A common comparison made was the similarity of the band's early work to the American post-rock band Slint, whom released the monumental and adored album Spiderland in 1991. The Slint reference was made so much that it slowly became a meme among BCNR fans. This joke is used as a response to any time BCNR covering a song by another artist or perform music that is derivative or at least similar to another artist. If you want my opinion, I think there is a slight Slint influence on Nathan's France, but that's really only down to the guitar and bass work. Other than that, there is almost no similarity throughout their entire discography, except maybe some of the clean guitar tones on For the First Time. Never Again EPs Never Again is the title given to two four-track cover EPs, released by the band in December 2021 and November 2022 respectively. Ironically, there are actually two Never Again EPs, despite the title suggesting otherwise. The first EP mainly features Isaac on vocals, with his cover of Mamma Mia being somehow aggressive and incredibly joyous at the same time. The EP also features a group performance of Someone Like You by Adele, reflective of the band's shared love of pop music. The second, and I think superior EP, aptly titled Never Again Part 2, features prominent vocals from four members of the band. Lewis's cover of So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings has this lovable awkwardness due to its relatively sparse arrangement and Lewis's extremely dorky sounding vocals. It still bangs incredibly hard though. The other notable cover is a BCNR arrangement of Happier Than Ever, featuring Tyler and Charlie on vocals. The moody pop song is turned into a chamber and noise pop epic, featuring insane screams from Charlie and the trademark BCNR instrumental climax. I highly recommend checking it out. Professor Sky Interview Professor Sky is a professor of French turned YouTube music reviewer. Well, I guess he still technically teaches, but he is more well known for his very thorough and inscripted reviews about new music. His use of language and profound insights, along with his pretty childish humor, means that he is one of my favorite music reviewers on the entire internet. Another thing he is known for is for rarely, if ever, editing his videos. But one of his most popular videos involves quite a lot of editing. While he was reviewing the first few singles from Ants From Up There, the producer of the album, Sergio Machesco, contacted him and ended up sharing many of the early demos the band recorded. After the album was finished, Professor Sky managed to interview several members of the band along with Sergio and talk in depth about the creation of the album and the numerous artistic choices made and musical influences incorporated. He also plays a ton of the demos sent to him by Sergio and compares it to the album versions. It's really very interesting, but only if you really, really love Ants From Up There, which I'm sure many of you do. Also keep this interview in mind as we will return to it later on in the iceberg. Live at Bush Hall Following Isaac's departure from the band in early 2022, the remaining members spent a few months working on new material before going on tour again. They did a few shows in the UK and Europe, a US tour supporting Black Midi, and a performance at the Fuji Rock Festival in Japan that all featured all new material. On the 15th and 16th of December 2022, BCNR played three shows at Bush Hall in London, with each performance themed after a fictional play. The themes included a haunted pizza parlor, a prom night, and a farmer's meeting. The band would tease that the three Bush Hall performances would be made into something bigger, and soon enough, on February 21st, 2023, the concert film Live at Bush Hall was released on YouTube. The film features high-quality recordings of nine new songs and performances from all three nights and consists of cinematography from the band's crew as well as from the audience. Live at Bush Hall came to streaming on March 24th and is set to release on vinyl on April 28th, but the band have stated that they have hitherto no intention of recording studio versions of these songs and that they wanted the film to represent a little time capsule of these eight months that we've had playing these songs on the road. It also happens to be amazing and is one of the best albums I've heard all year. Bush Hall is about Isaac. Many of the songs on Bush Hall seem to be referencing Isaac's departure and what they did in creating Ants From Up There, and can be clearly seen in the very first sung line of the performance. Look, I want we did together. 
Laughing song seems to be about letting someone you love walk away, and as a redditor pointed out, Isaac actually means laughing, which could be an oblique reference to their old frontman. The wrong trousers features a beautiful duetted refrain of Tyler and Lewis singing. A not so subtle reference to the fact that the band, along with Isaac, made one of the best pieces of music of all time. BCNR TikTok, BCNR's TikTok page, which mostly just features videos of the band on tour and promotional stuff for new music. But does feature a couple of glorious gems that have made my life infinitely better. Hey, excuse me, excuse me, sir, excuse me. What song hey. are you listening to? Uh, Chaos Space Marine by Black Country. Great song. You have a blessed day, sir.